Hello there, I'm Ann here from Ann Makes on YouTube as well as annmakes.blogspot.com, the blog where I share lots of DIYs, how to, product reviews, and all sorts of other crafty things. And as per viewer request, today I am giving you a tour of my craft room slash studio slash mom cave slash room where I I I hoard lots of craft supplies and art supplies. So this is it at its tidiest, seriously. I've been waiting and waiting to film this updated video because I so wanted this room to be all tidy and clean and spotless, but that's never going to happen. And frankly, are you going to do you really care if I haven't vacuumed in weeks? Do you? Or dusted? No, I don't think so. So this room is what it is. It is in the basement of our home. It is really a working room. It is uh, not just a place where I collect supplies or I've collected supplies and tools for years, but it is where I actually work. I try to work here every day. Sometimes it's not possible because life is messy. But I want to show you that this is my uh, no frills, <laughs> really a low key, and uh, and I did this. I set up this room when I really had no time. I had no extra money. It was just a really crazy time in our lives, and I just used a mishmash of hand-me-downs, flea market finds, uh, roadside finds even, uh, thrift store finds of furnitures and uh, storage things and a lot of uh, storage containers from dollar stores and and department stores so but I do have some very nice pieces now because I actually work in the craft and hobby industry. I do work as a designer, a writer, a digital content creator. I create content and tutorials for various publishers and companies. So I do get a lot of products and supplies from a ver variety of uh, companies. So, and I have been collecting stuff all my life. And I also inherited all of my mom's craft stuff. Um, my mom is still alive, but uh, she doesn't craft anymore. Her health uh, doesn't permit it. And I was fortunate enough to have a very uh, creative, crafty mom who taught me how to sew. And so I, and later I taught her scrapbooking. And uh, so we kind of grew our scrapbook collections and I've also grown my fabric collection and we kind of were like enablers to each other for many years and now I really have I have all her things all that that she uh, had saved and uh, so my the stuff I have just doubled almost in quantity so here we go I'm going to try to give you as much information as possible I might have to do this in more than one video though of course uh, and uh, yeah, so let's get started, shall we? So here is where uh, one would enter the area where I do my crafting. There's no door to this room. It is the back end of my house in our basement. It is a very big space, I have to say. I don't remember exactly how that how big it is. I'll try to. I'll try to. Uh, locate that information and maybe add it here somewhere uh, in some sort of description. But it is a, a large space. I'm very fortunate for that. And it, but it is oddly shaped. It has very strange angles. It is, uh, there is only one tiny little window in here and it is a partially finished basement. That means that the walls are insulated. There is drywall and I'll try to show you here. <laughs> There's not much wall to see because I've covered almost every inch of the walls. See? Oh, there's a piece of wall there. See that? Like 
beige peachy piece there beside the blue tower. Yeah, that's wall. <laughs> so there are, there is a completely insulated finished wall. I also have, I also have a beautiful laminate floor. Okay, and this so is as the... you come in uh, beside this case full of old videos, DVDs, and cassettes, uh, there is this tower of blue storage containers. Uh, they stack very well. They are by Rubbermaid. I got these in a clearance once, and uh, the side opens up, has a clear panel, and opens up. So you don't have to unstack these. You can access everything. Uh, these are great. I would like to find more of these. And here is a bookcase where I keep my paint books up there, some general crafting books, then sewing, uh, quilting, and below, behind that uh, antique sewing machine are some other uh, old magazines pertaining to uh, quilting and such. Uh, speaking of my antique sewing machine, this is a uh, treadle, uh, foot pedal, whatever, vintage white. That's the brand, white uh, sewing machine. It is in excellent condition. I have overhauled it. I have oiled it and I maintain it and it works. It just works perfectly. It just works with woman power, <laughs> no electricity. Um, thrift store, not a thrift store. That was a garage sale lamp, if I'm correct. Then over here, just beside the bookcase, I have a couple of shelves and on there I have some very big bolts of uh, fabrics, of textiles, batting, um, specialty fabrics, all um, from uh, Fairfield where I, I have worked with them before and I hope to work again with them. So they're very generous and they gave me those bolts. And I use, as you can see, I use the, the beam of the ceiling there to kind of hold those bolts in place. So they just fit perfectly there. Storage, the lot of this room is all storage. There's more storage than the work area, I swear. Just storage bins full of supplies, felt, unfinished wood objects, mostly. Um, yeah. Uh, here's a basket full of rolls of paper. Here's a pile of bags of stuff that was recently purchased and it needs to be put away and I just stashed them all in that corner uh, for the sake of making this video. <laughs> There's an extra tripod. Here is a couch that I have just thrown on a bunch of vintage quilts and afghans. Uh, some made by family members, some made by friends, some I bought at a uh, thrift store. And it's super comfy because it's got all these layers of quilts and stuff. So that's that's what I have there. And I have a few projects that I made recently. I took some classes, so their projects are there. These are mostly uh, projects I did with the uh, Nancy's Notions classes I took. There's balls of yarn to put away. I just, I have no more room. So they're, they're there. Um, and here is one of the areas where I store balls of yarn. I try to separate them by color. That's what I do. And in this small bookcase are my uh, knitting, crochet, and down there, it's, well, you can't really see, some embroidery uh, books and more supplies. This room is full, <laughs> if I haven't said it already. I use every little inch to hang stuff, put stuff. I recently made this fantastic cutting table. To me, I think it's fantastic. It is so big, I cannot even show you the full size of it. I have to back out of the room to show you. It is four feet wide by eight feet long, yes. I'm sorry, the lighting here is bad. I can't show you. So basically, I have a collection of, I believe, 
four, four of the cubby style bookcases I purchased at Walmart online and a sheet of four by eight just finished white melamine the same material as the cubbies and that is it and this is my superb cutting table I call it my cutting table it is where I lay out yards and yards or meters and meters or bolts of fabric and I can cut an entire project on this table I love it and this here this white stick thing that you see is actually a microphone stand that I have rigged up to hold my iPhone when I need to shoot video <clears throat> Here's an extra lamp. It's a boom lamp that I have for when I need to shoot uh, photographs or videos in this area. In the back there are two cupboards that have been in my family. Um, both are inherited pieces. Uh, they're they're not the quality. I mean, I you know I don't. My family didn't have a lot of money, so they're very uh, cheap. <laughs> composite product whatever but you know what they store tons of fabric tons and tons of fabric so that is what is behind those doors and above that I have a collection of vintage sewing baskets and over here are boxes that came from my mom these plastic boxes with the pink lids and they had a whole bunch of supplies in them and I integrated her supplies with mine and uh, relabeled everything. Now we're looking inside one of my cupboards where I store uh, fabric and I just want to show you one of the systems I'm using which consists of these bins, these gray bins. Um, they are like the dish pans but these are bigger these are actually you're gonna laugh they were brand new never used I bought these brand new at Dollarama they are intended to be used as cat litter boxes the size is just perfect for this cupboard and they're all gray because they it's the only color they come in and I use them to store my fabrics I've separated most of my fabrics by color as you can see what I done is I made a I guess a pattern or a jig here and this is what I used to roll the fabric so it's the right size to fit to fit inside these uh, bins and that it, it's just proven to be a really good system in this cupboard so when I want to pull out fabric I just pull out the bin I pull out the fabrics so I can't really do this with one hand so it, it works well for me I have so many of the white types of different types of fabric that they just have a, a whole big spot on the shelf now in this cupboard the shelves are more narrow and so far I haven't found any containers that work well in here so I just have my uh, fabrics sorted by color and stacked neatly on the narrow shelves well somewhat neatly <laughs> well here I want to show you another system that I use um, it's it's basically the same as in the other bin but here's a way that I can keep track of what fabrics I have if I just take a swatch of each fabric and staple it to an index card and attach it to a safety pin or a book by um, a binder ring um, and then I can store these in a file if I right want. now I just have it attached here just for the sake of this video and also for a post I, I wrote um, so you could see what I'm, I'm talking about so on these cards it says such and such a fabric is in here and when you pull this little bin out you can see all the fabrics that are in here and what I've done is I folded them 
uh, or rolled them according to the size of this uh, bin. There is, at the bottom of this bin, there is a piece that comes out that makes the bottom flat. And I, and I use that to uh, wrap the fabrics the right size to fit in the bin. Now I'll try to put a link to that post somewhere. So over here we are looking at the area where I do most of my sewing. I have um, a, so my sewing machine here under this cover and a sewing machine cabinet that used to be my mom's. So there we go. This is where I do the majority of my sewing. Here is a desk with um, my mom's old overlock. And here is my brand new overlock um, that I got from, it's a, new, a baby lock that I got from uh, Nancy's Notions that I won. Thank you very much. And I put it on this little desk from Walmart. And here is an embroidery machine. So I have these uh, very inexpensive little pieces of furniture to to work with, and these ones were given to me by my mom. That had she had these in her apartment. And back there is a storage area with lots of boxes. And each box is uh, labeled with the contents of the box. So and some of the boxes are full of fabric. So I just have swatches of each piece of fabric on a card. Uh, uh, there are other boxes that hold other materials and they're labeled as such. Here I have a tower of those uh, plastic drawers by Sterlite. And I keep scraps and uh, trims. Uh, by color in there. Here's a bookcase. In this uh, bookcase I have a lot of uh, plastic like shoe boxes that were purchased at various dollar stores over the years. They're all labeled and they hold um, trims mostly and things I use in sewing. Uh, Elastic, face, hem facing, rick rack, etc. I have some old boxes uh, with patterns inside, and everything is organized by category. And over to the right of that are some shells with some more buttons and trims. And I'm hoping you're not getting dizzy from this. And lots of threads and just everything I need for sewing. This uh, container here also holds different spools of threads. And I have two irons. One has a Teflon coated base and one does not, depending on what I need to iron. There's some more storage for a whole bunch of notions. As you can see, I label everything so I know where everything is. Beneath that is another little storage unit that I got on clearance and it's full again of a lot of uh, containers bought at dollar store and holds all sorts of things like different uh, sewing machine feet and embellishments and threads and a whole bunch of uh, tools for quilting and supplies.
here more thread. I have lots of thread and those colored drawers hold different threads and I tried to <laughs> match the thread colors to the drawer colors so uh, the the reds and pinks are in the reddish drawers and the orange orange drawers have orange and yellow threads and you know, the green has green the blue has blue and um, the purple has actually purple and black <laughs> so I tried to do that that way so again here is an overview of uh, this angle of where I do a lot of sewing I have a mini ironing board there because the lar the regular size ironing board that I have I just I just put it away for uh, the sake of making this video because it was getting in my way.